Hello, this is Diego from the Samsung Developer Program and today in Tyson Tidbits we're going to check how to use the emulator in Tyson Studio. When you're creating your own Tyson applications, you're going to have two main ways to test them. The first one is going to be the Tyson emulator, that is the topic of this video. The other one is to deploy the application to an actual device. That is going to be its own video that we're going to do in the future. Right now, we just need to go to Tools, Emulator Manager, that is going to show us the list of the different images of devices that we can emulate. In this case, I have several, but quite likely at the beginning, you are going to have just one or two. Pick the one that you desire, launch it, and that is going to launch the emulator with the version of Tizen that you uh, chose. After a few seconds, we're going to see the emulator starting, showing the default watch phase. And now we are ready to show an application there. We can go back to Tyson Studio, pick the project that we wanted, say run. And in this case, it's a Tyson web application. It could be also a native application, but that's the one that I already had created. It's going to take a couple of seconds to load the application on your emulator and it's going to immediately start showing it. At this point, you can use already the vessel, although this application in particular doesn't have that. And you can also start modifying some of the information that you have in your, or of the data that you have in the emulator. In this case, I'm going to open the control panel after right-clicking on the emulator. And that is going to give us access to some of the most important things that you have in your Galaxy Watch. And it's the different sensors that you are going to have here. So in this particular case, we have a heart rate monitor. So it would be great if we have it here. And then you can start modifying or emulating the data that you would be receiving from your device. That way you can test your application and see if it's working. So I'm going to press back, we'll go back to the watch face. And what about if we have another application ready? So I'm going to be able to pick a different project run it as a web application and in this particular one we can use this feature of the emulator that I would like that is controlling the vessel to be able to navigate on things like long lists and also to emulate things like going back and forward in different menus and items. Now, uh, as you can see, you have like three, well, four main ways that you can interact with your uh, watch. The first one is going to be with touch. So you touch the screen. The second one is going to be using the back button that allows you to go back in different menus. And also you're going to have the uh, power button that we had here and the vessel that we just checked. So using that plus the emul emulator control panel over here, you should be able to test almost everything that you're going to uh, create with your own application. So just give it a look, create a sample project, and then start working with your own emulator. I hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think.